As a beginner, are you looking forward for a step-by-step -step tutorial to follow as a graphic designer? Hit the subscribe button now on my YouTube channel as I put you through step-by-steps on how to create unique designs with design elements. In today's tutorial, I'll be showing you how to a better flyer as a beginner. My name is Babatunde Moses, also known as More Easy Graphics. So without further ado, let's just start designing. Alright, that's the design we are going to go through today. So uh, let's just create a new page to start the new design. Alright, I'm going to be using 2004 by 3000 pixel like I have here. 2004 by 3000 pixel then I'm going to create and likewise you can actually give it a name from this place change it and you just give it let's say a birthday BDA let's have that name BDA but that's birthday so I'm going to create so automatically it changed the name here it is already saved so all right now the next thing to do is just to bring in my image the image I'm going to be using and this is the image I'll drag the image down here and then resize the image so I'm going to slide the image to the left a bit to give it like I'm going to move it to the left a bit I'm going to adjust it to the left a bit so that I can have space to do one or two write-ups at the left side here all right so I'm going to duplicate this background because we need to design our background. So our background is going to be this simple here. I'm just going to sample a color from his cloth. Then we use a paint bucket to, to pour the paint color on the background. So I've sampled the color. Then I'm going to pay, drop the color here and then reduce the opacity of that color to maybe 25. Let's say 20. Let's say 30. All right, 30 is cool. Now, the next thing to do is to reduce to actually turn off the image we are using. I'm going to turn off the image because we want to type behind the image the name of the celebrant as just a design of the background using text. So I'm going to use, I'm going to type his name. His name is Ola. Ola. Let me retype that. Ola. So I'm going to increase the size so you guys can see what I'm doing actually. And the front I'm using actually has automatically uh, placed itself at the position. It is called Chris Creto Creto Display. Creto Display. If you want to download that, you can go download that font. Ola the the image. So I'm going to just take this call name here and place it at the top here. Change the color to white and then reduce the opacity to 30 all right so that that is i'm satisfied with it or let's do this i'll duplicate it so i can't because i'm going to use two so i have the second name yeah i just love to use the name opposite in each other like d to connect the d and the high together so i'm going to select the two colors and then reduce the opac uh, opacity together you can actually reduce the opacity of both stuff together so i'm satisfied with this i will lock it down i'll lock it and on uh, make the image visible back so now i'm going to bring in my in the next image and this next image i'm going to put it behind the the celebrant picture and then scale it scale it not this much and then okay Place it behind the celebrant this way. I'm going to rotate it as well. Alright. This is actually okay. This is okay. Let me raise it up a bit. Alright. Now, if you notice the color of the background of that flower and the image, and the background is not like a blending. So, what I do is I will just take my hue and saturation to, like I said, then make a clipping max. It is a shortcut instead of right clicking and releasing the cli uh, creating a clipping max here. So I just do that over here and then slide to where the color is matching up with the clothes. Now that's a point where it is matching up with clothes. So I'm satisfied with that. Then the next thing is just to blow that flower because blowing it will make the picture, the 
the celebrant picture project it out better than just leaving it to be this so they won't conflict each other and then one more flower i'm going to bring in is this sunflower here another sunflower i'm going to reduce i'm going to scale it down a bit i'm going to scale it and place it here uh yeah all right i'm going to place it here now i'm going to bring the sunflower down and then uh like you see the sunflower is affected now alongside with the background if you notice the background has changed its color the background has changed its color and also the this remains the same color uh, but this takes another color so i'm going to create a clipping max pack into this so it could affect this and then i'll duplicate this here and saturation to and do the same to here and also clip it into the image now if you notice the 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 orange here is too much it's too ash i'll just slide it backward so that they could blend together now they are blending together so the only thing now is just to blow this as well i'll click on up here my filter and click on blow because that was the last action i took so you already record it there so the the stuff is too much actually i will reduce the blurry part is too much then i'm going to do this yeah so i don't want this black part to show i will just increase the size of the flower don't show this again increase the size of the flower and then pull it back increase it again pull it back and then let's see what happens um, all right this is better this is much better check all right you can see we are not gonna make waste much of our time all i need for you to do is to subscribe and share also like so that youtube will take my videos to other people's world would love to take advantage of this tutorial please subscribe to my youtube channel thank you all right i'm going to log this <coughs> pardon me i'm going to lock this and also lock the image here so the next thing is to do now above my image i would actually create a new layer a new layer rather and take my brush then increase the size of my brush at this point there's a reason i can increase i do increase my brush with well, uh, my bracket open and bracket close so then i'll come over here to sample the color of this shirt when i click from here then it brings this box here then i sample and click ok all right i'm going to paint over his face here so this is the place i want to paint over i'll reduce the brush and then paint over here as well all right then i'll change the screen mode to uh sorry i'll change the the blend mode to screen and i'm okay with this blend mode all right yeah i'm going to lock this guy's picture now i'm going to lock his picture because i'm going to do one more thing here i'm going to create a new layer another layer max a new layer rather then change the background color to black because i'm going to paint over this area here i'm going to paint this over this area black i'm going to place it back just press your x to exchange or you change the from background to foreground so then i'm going to paint here this way i'm going to paint it this way and reduce your opacity what uh why am i doing this i'm actually doing this because the next thing i'm doing is to type in the name of the celebrant and his name is ola dimiji ola dimiji all right i'll reduce this font size i'll reduce the font size here ola dimiji that's his name all right all the image i have it here and i'll press ok uh, mind you we have in black i'm going to change it to white it's not going to be black it's going to be white and then i'll just duplicate or let me type a new name then then son name is o do taller now the name of the front font i'm using for the do taller is not the same thing it's not crystal crystal it's not crystal display it is billionaire billionaire dream yeah that's the name of the font Bologna dream i'm going to reduce the size you can see the way it is it is um uh, the script font 
now the script font i'm going to increase the the tracking so that the name can be seen boldly all right now the name the name is not actually the Odutola is not showing why is because the background i did was not getting to uh to reach the top where the name is so it's actually covering the name you can't see the name properly but i've done an adjustment to that I, i've done an adjustment to that so the last thing i'm bringing here is the sign you saw that or that uh, there's one stuff here i'm just going to drag it from this place i'm going to drag it from here and drop it here i'll show you in one of my tutorial how you can get that this stuff so i'll raise this ototola up here and the ola dimiji as well i'll raise it up oh sorry the ola dimiji and the text oh every text should be at the top so i'm going to drag this to at the top all right and then ola dimiji should be placed at the center this way all right then this stuff would be placed this way i'll actually share every tools to you with you guys don't panic don't think about it all right so this is this about that that is that about that <laughs> all right anyway tree. but now the next thing i want to do is just to put uh at this happy birthday you're seeing here and the tent i would actually show you how to make this happy birthday round circle and the rest are simple the rest are very simple so i'm going to just do this happy birthday i'm going to use my mark you select show a bit uh, elliptical mark you two then hold down my shift then drag draw a circle now i've drawn a circle i'm going to right click as well on it then make work path that's what i'll select i'll make not this i'm going to make work path it will ask me the tolerance i'll put 2.0 that's the tolerance i'm using then okay then take your text to here to make sure you are seeing this when you select your text make sure it is this click on the text and then change the dark to a lighter or let's say medium and reduce it to the size to nine so the size to nine you type happy birthday all over happy but the now I'll change the color here to outside I've highlighted it and I'll change the color to black. So why changing it to black? I'm still gonna reduce it to eight. Uh, it is okay for me. And then increase the tracking actually. Then copy Ctrl C to copy. Why I copy that? I'm going to create a space. Paste paste. Oh, I think I copied the wrong thing here. I'm going to highlight it again. Copy. Alright, then paste. Paste, paste. Alright, here yeah, I'll just have to increase the track it so that everything will match up well. And that is that. Do you see how this is being done? You can actually do it then. Then you type in every other thing. But for me, I'm going to hide this and just drag that in just to save time yes so i've showed you how to do to create that easily just now so you can just what you can do is just create that on your own when you want to practicalize this i, I kind of noticed my background is not locked that is why it's moved so i'm going to lock it and then adjust this back And also this is uh let me lock the background and some other parts that needs to be locked all right let's see okay now i can select this alone aha uh -huh. i just want to make it to fall at the center you can see the pink line it says it's fall it falls at the at the uh at the center so this is just it you've created a simple and a unique uh, birthday design as a beginner in fact doing this you don't look like a beginner again you've taken your your design or your creativity to the next step so this is a beautiful birthday design it's simple you don't need to add too much elements just little elements and make it unique 
and that is that so you guys can see that we are done with to, with this tutorial for now you can as well try this i'll drop the resources to use the uh, resources for the design i'll drop that to the resources for you so that you too you can practice this at home i'm looking at some things i've been they are not well placed so i'm trying to place them you can see please note look at this part in your design you can come across this kind of stuff you can come out you can see this let's play i created has gone out then i have to bring it back in yeah now it is fully ready now the last thing to do is just to enhance it how do i enhance it i'm first going to create a flat image of that of all these things i've done i wouldn't shift Control alt then you press e so so right here at the top you see everything you've done packed matched up on in one flat image so i'm going to filter to and then go when i click filter i'm going to camera filter actually to enhance it with just little touch and that is all about it so as soon as this load i'll be working with the basics first increase the texture a bit and also the clarity a little bit like it then i'm come to going to use my color mixer to just add a little orange to add orange and yellow and that is that all right now this is the before and this is the after you can see one is more sharp compared to the other and also you can as well do the vice versa you can do the vice versa like you can choose to uh, let me create another image here you can do the vice versa whereby you would um, you would have to reduce your the image like you have to reduce the clarity of the texture and it gives you that blur and a uh in your basics basic it gives you the blurry like this kind of effect if you use the clarity as well you see it gives that effect if you don't want it to look like um you can see the way it's it looks like it's out you are owning a light now let me say okay anyone you choose you are good with it if you want to use this or you use this anyone you are good you see there are just little tips, tips and tricks we use in photoshop and uh, this is how we make our design beautiful so anyone you want you can make use of them now you i if you notice i reduce my the size of my image why i do that is it helps me to see the beauty of the image if there's something wrong with it or it is actually okay that is why i uh, zoom out to check all right you can as well note that that's another tip i give to you now so please do well to subscribe to my page like and share also thank you for watching